Welcome everybody. We're in uh, Seattle right now. And uh, in Seattle, they have a, a restaurant that I really love. So if you guys remember years ago, um, I would go to this place, Menya Musashi in LA, which is um, my favorite ramen restaurant. And then they closed it, unfortunately, um, in LA. But it still exists in Seattle. So I'm on a business trip in Seattle and I, of course, had to Uber out to, you know, the, the menu Musashi that they have here. So let's eat some, uh, <laughs> some ramen. Their specialty here is like um, skimming style. So we'll, uh, we'll see what we can, can get. It's a five dollar ramen combo on this thing, but I can imagine how this would be five dollars. Yeah, because the. I have a question. The five dollar ramen combo does that include the ramen too, or? Yeah, so, um, it's like in addition to. A ramen. Right, so right, it'll gotcha, be like okay. the normal price of the ramen, and then with the five. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, you a little time to think over some stuff? Uh, I think I know what I want. Okay. Uh, can I get the original Tsukaman, please? And then, um, I think that's it. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, Thanks. just the original Tsukaman. Thank you. Do you want me to grab this or do you want to keep going? Okay, I'll, keep, I'll take a hold. Okay. Hi. I might end up getting some karage. Mm, maybe not. So, um, yeah, I'm currently, uh, I guess, uh, on a business trip to Seattle, which is then, I, I'm taking the return flight, instead of going back to LA, the return flight's going back to New Jersey, uh, where my family lives, and uh, we're going to our like family Jersey Shore trip. So we're going there with them, uh, and then I have another business trip out of New Jersey. Luckily, at the exact time that I come back from the beach, to two other business trips, and then I go back to LA from the final one of those trips. So it's kind of like a weird sandwiched uh, business and fun. Uh, you know, uh, the situation, but um, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty perfect. <clears throat> so I am hoping that my there's a weird uh, symbol that's flashing on my. Um, GoPro app, which I hope me doesn't mean that I don't have a memory card plugged in. I'm pretty sure I do though. It says, yeah, on the front part it looks like, I think it's saying because it doesn't have a battery, because I take the battery out in order to do these, since I have a, an external power source thing that I plug in. We'll see. <laughs> Either way, I get to eat some scan in. One of the things here that I really like is the uh, spice that they have. So at a lot of, lot of ramen places, when you want to like add spice to your ramen, you um, you just put in like a little chili powder or something, and it kind of just like ruins it, for lack of a more tactful term. It it sort of like doesn't feel like it's 
made to complement the flavor of the ramen a lot of times. But here they have this, me and my brother call it cereal. It's like a, you can see that it's like a, um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's like a cereal type thing. Um, that's like little chunks of uh, dried something. And it's really good. And it also complements the ramen really well. Um, for this $5 ramen combo, can I do a karage? And then does the Sapporo, does that just count as this one? Or? Yeah, uh, oh, I okay. can redo that and then put it in so then it comes out with a discount. Oh, great. Yeah. That's perfect. So you just want to do a chicken karage? Thank you. Awesome. I gotta get that kata again. I think I'm gonna get since I'm here, of course. I'm probably gonna get a, a ramen to go. Bring it back to my hotel room. I checked and they do have a fridge and a microwave. So when in Rome, right? Oh, yeah, that's spice is even good. Just uh just straight up. I need chopsticks or something. I gotta wait until they give them to me, I guess. I'm gonna eat a piece of the spice. Yeah, it's really good. Nobody else does it like this that I've ever had. Because it's not um, oil. A lot of times it's either oil or a powder. And both of those tend to just be like they just taste like they're on top of the flavor of the ramen. They don't like integrate into it really. But this, uh, this is different. Yeah, so. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get anything else. I, gotta, I don't wanna eat like a mountain of food. But I do wanna get the extra. To go. I would have streamed this. I actually bought, um, I got a um, SIM card for the US, uh, but it unfortunately is not working for me. So I'm, the company's not, uh, their customer service isn't open on the weekend, so I'm going to call them tomorrow. But um, if, because when I was in Greece, when you get one for Europe, you have to get it that's like, it's gonna be within this range of days type, type SIM card. But for the US, th this one that I got is like, you can do um, within 180 days from when you bought it, you can just, you can use, you can load it with a certain amount of consecutive days. So like whenever you start using it, as long as it's within 180 days from when you bought it, whenever you start using it, you get that many, however many days you bought after that. So I bought three days on two cards. And uh, so I was like, okay, yeah, if I'm ever on like a business trip, I'll have like three days to do streams if I want to. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work, but it's a great idea in theory. And I, if I can, you know, figure out with the company what is wrong, um, then, you know, and, and fix it, then that would be great. Because, yeah, um, it's the same company that did the Grease one. So, you know, I, I thought that it would be the same setup process, but apparently there's something different. I don't know what it is. But, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, that's why I have a um, SD card in my camera. Because it's like, if there's something goes wrong, just like in Greece, you know, you're at the ancient Agora, there's no signal because they don't have Wi-Fi at the ancient Agora. <laughs> and uh, you just make a video instead. So, same thing here. If, if something goes wrong, you just make a video. Oh, 
Oh, that's great. You can add the little, in this place they have a, they call it a fire ball. And it's like a, a sphere of spice that you can put in. This place, the thing about this place though, because they do actually have a, like a red spicy edition of their ramen that I, is also really good. They have, I don't know if you can see the menu if I point it up here. They have a original, which is the, what I got, the black, which is the garlic and sesame apparently, red curry and spicy curry. And they used to have all these, they used to, at, in the LA one, it was like they had the regular red and black, and then the curry and the spicy curry were like seasonal special things. But we noticed that in Seattle, um, it's just an all year thing. Um, but yeah, I've tried them all and they're all excellent. But I don't like to modify the ramen here. You know, if it's regular ramen, I'm not gonna add anything to it because it's, it's so good. But yeah, this uh, last year, uh, I was going on a business trip to Seattle and Menya had closed. And uh, I told my brother that, I, oh, I'm gonna be in Seattle, that we could go to, I could go to Menya, do you wanna go? And so I was on a business trip there and he booked a regular trip there, <laughs> here, just to come to Menya Musashi. <laughs> Like so, a one-day trip to Seattle to go to Menya Musashi, and then he went and explored a little bit, and then went home. So that was a uh, the extent to which we really love this place. Damn, the spice is really good. Maybe I'll try to like put it on my. <laughs> I'll try to put it on my uh so, oh, great, awesome. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and this bowl is a little hot to touch on the outside, right? and you, you probably need some chopsticks. Are oh, chopsticks yeah. Good? I don't know, I'll have chopsticks. Cool. And also, can I have a water too? Possibly can point this down at the thing. The thing is that when I'm doing a video, I can't really see what is happening on screen. So hopefully you can see whatever this is. But um, it's a pretty wide angle, so I'm pretty sure that. Actually, I think I, if I look behind the camera, I can see. Yeah, I think I'm good. If you can't see my face, it's all right. Thank you. All right, we got the feast. I gotta take the photo, I almost forgot. Gotta get that karage. Karage, I was surprised people on the stream, you know, when we would uh, talk about it, had not heard of karage, or the idea of like eating fried chicken in Japan. But that's like a mainstay. You go to an izakaya or bar or something, you're always getting karage. That's always, it's like something that's always there. If you go to a bar in the US, you get like mozzarella sticks or something, or, or whatever, like a, you know, chicken fingers or something. There's certain things you'll always see at places, or you can you can probably bet they'll have at like a general place in the U.S. In Japan, if it's like you know sort of bar food, 
caught all that. Oh yeah. Mm. Ah. Ooh, it's good. Oh, a piece of my karage fell on the, or my uh, noodles fell on the table. I put that whole strand. Who knows where this table has been? The idea with skemen, in my opinion, the best way to eat ramen is that you're eating, it's essentially deconstructed ramen. It's a very, um, you'll see this a lot in Japan, not as much in the US, um, but it, it makes it so that the noodles are not contaminated by the sauce and they don't get soggy. Um, so it's, it's a lot fresher when you eat it. essentially just dipping the noodles in the sauce at will, you know, when you are eating those particular noodles. So after Greece, if you guys recall, my um, tripod was totally screwed up all the screws were coming loose it was held together with gaff tape it was totally like done and uh, I actually ordered another one and got it sent to this hotel that I would picked up when I checked in and I, uh, the problem I think from Greece was that the tripod I installed my own custom head on it so I can fit the GoPro onto it because it's really just made for like phones uh, and stuff but I put my own custom head and then um, that head would I think in my baggage get twisted around you know as like things got jostled and it twisted so much that it like stripped the screws and it would just spin uncontrollably when I wanted to use it so you couldn't have it sit still and then eventually the screws started coming loose. And so that's bad. So this time, the tripod came in a little box and uh, I'm actually, the box, the tripod goes in the box. I'm taking the head off, putting that in the box, putting the tripod in the box, and putting that box in my backpack instead of like, you know, having it be uh, just loose. And hopefully that'll prevent it from uh, spinning around all the time. Look at that. Dip it in the ramen. Mmm. real question is what do I get to bring back with me in the hotel room? Do I get the original scammer again or do I mix it up?
thing here that so the the broth is you can't necessarily tell by looking at it, but well maybe you can. It's very thick and smoky, and it the noodles are very like uh, sort of they're kind of like starchy or something, so that they almost like a magnet with iron filings that they, the broth like sticks onto the, the noodle. It's, it, they're perfectly made for each other. And my brother and I both agree that that it's the best ramen that we have had in the USA. And while we are sad that it's gone from LA, we're very happy that it, uh, that it lives on here. Apparently there's a bunch of them in, um, over in Japan though, so you know that the next time I'm over there, we'll be going. I've been up for basically like 36 hours at this point because I was getting a bunch of stuff done before I left and then I just stayed up since the flight was at 10 so I had to leave at 8 for my house and so I was like alright I'll just stay up and do stuff then too and then I was up on the plane and now I'm doing this so pure adrenaline is keeping me awake now
So, fun fact for anybody who has been watching the Yakuza Kenzon streams uh, back when those were happening. We haven't played it in a little bit, but um, uh, Miyamoto Musashi is the guy who's the main character in that game. So, uh, Kiryu in Yakuza Kenzon is Miyamoto Musashi, which is the guy that this restaurant is like based on. Kind of like the premier, you know, ancient samurai warrior guy. I don't know who you'd really compare him to. Kind of like, um, I don't know. Well, he wrote the. Uh, sort of like the Japanese equivalent of the art of war or like the prince like in Italy it's the prince by uh, Machiavelli in China it's art of war by Lao Tzu and in Japan it's the uh, book of the five rings by Miyamoto Musashi um, which is you know this one's a little it's sort of like his philosophy on combat and life and you know, philosophy and everything through the art of being a samurai or whatever. He was kind of like a, sort of like a warrior Leonardo da Vinci though, because he was sort of a renaissance man. I'll move the camera back up since the food is uh, gone. But uh, yeah, he was like a renaissance man. So he was doing, uh, creating artwork and uh, obviously, he wrote a book, uh, multiple books, um, and uh, you know he was like one of the most accomplished samurais, I think, it, of, in history. Uh, he did all sorts of stuff. So yeah, he's. Thank you. He was like a. He did it all. And that's reflected in Yakuza Kenzon. Because if you recall in Yakuza Kenzon, we just we just introduced the mechanic where Kiryu can like draw those Yukioe paintings um, based on animals and stuff. Um, so I'm really excited to keep playing that game. That's gonna do it for Maggie Musashi. Um, did not disappoint. I'm definitely gonna get another bowl to go and bring back to my room. That's, I literally just Ubered to go here, um, like a 25 minute Uber to just like get this and then go back to my hotel room for the rest of the day. So uh, yeah, I will go do that. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining channel uh, has all sorts of stuff and video games mostly but also sometimes things like this so uh, hope you enjoyed it maybe you learned a thing or two maybe you liked listening to me slurp the ramen uh, or maybe you hated it either way <laughs> have a great day I hope you didn't hate it bye bye